Okay, this is the P1 paper from January 2021. It's question number three. As you can see by looking at it, this is a trig ratios question, uh, looking at the graphs of sine, cos, tan. In particular, with this one, we're going to be looking at the graph of cos x. So before we look at the question, let's just do a quick reminder. If we're looking at the graphs of these functions, then we need to be able to sketch pretty much as quickly as I've done that, sine, cos, and tan um, between 0 and 360 degrees. 360 degrees, because in this case the question's in degrees, or between 0 and 2 pi. So I would say for cos x, I know it goes between 1 and minus 1. I know that that's 0, 90, that would be 180, that would be 270, and that would be 360 there. Um, and then we can just apply that to any transformation. In this case, what we're doing is for cos x, we are doing y equals a fx. When we have this function, everything is being multiplied by a. This is going to be a stretch parallel to the y-axis by a scale factor of 4. Okay, let's actually do that on the main graph that they've given us. But what we can see here is that instead of these values being between 1 and minus 1, it's going to go between 4 and minus 4. It's important to realise that these values won't move. They'll still be at zeros. They'll be at the same place. It's being stretched in that direction. Okay, it's had no impacts horizontally. Everything's vertical. Okay, so let's now look at the question we've got here. So if they're telling me this is 4 cos x, I can say that that's 4. I can still say that this is 90, 180 where the minimum is, 270, 360 there. And going on then, because that's going to be one of our questions, 450, I can say it's minus 90, minus 180, minus 270 there, and that this minimum value is going to be minus four. So if we've got all that, we've probably answered some of the questions anyway. Yeah, state the coordinates of P and of Q. So P is minus 180 minus four, and Q is 450 zero. So let's actually just go and write that down. I'm not gonna be able to show much working out in terms of uh, written evidence. So P was minus 180, minus 4, and Q is going to be 450, 0. Okay. The curve C2 has the equation 4 cos x plus k. I'm looking there at the moment. 4 cos x plus k, where k is a constant. Right, let's just talk about what this does then. This simply takes the whole graph and this time shifts it up by k, by, by however many units k works out to be. And they're telling me that the minimum value is now going to be minus one here. So let's think about that. If we just pick a minimum value there, at the moment my minimum value is here, and what they're saying is that new minimum value is gonna be at minus one there. Well, that doesn't take a lot of working out, does it say? that k must be equal to 3. It must have gone up by 3. The whole graph has shifted up by 3 there. So um, for b parts, which is b, not b part anything, um, let's just say what we're saying there. If the minimum value is minus 1, then we've had a translation plus three units vertically. You could say naught three if you wanted to get mathematical, but we don't need any of this really. What are they asking me? They're now saying R is the maximum point on C2 with the smallest positive coordinates. Okay, so it's the maximum point on C2. Could be that one or could be that one but with the smallest positive 
x coordinate. So it's going to be that one that I'm looking at. So that one, what happens if I move this up three units is currently, this is the point 364. So if I'm going to move it up three units, r is going to equal 367. Okay, hopefully that all makes sense.